Welcome to Model Horse Tax School. My name is Carrie, and today we're going to talk about using alternative materials. I know a lot of people, it's going to be hard to find things like Skyver and suede and leather, and it's going to be expensive. But for many decades, before I was able to get my hands on the good stuff, I was able to use alternative materials. So I went and got um, for a dollar sixteen, right? This is a faux leather. They didn't happen to have it in brown, but for what are my purposes, this is going to work. Um, <clears throat> and then there's also this fake suede. Um, I'm using this for, I would use this for prototyping. So when I'm creating a new saddle pattern, um, I don't want to use my good stuff on it because it may fail. So I would use something like this to make a saddle. Here's a file that I, I have on my computer and it's got, uh, different types for the fenders. You got three different jockeys, right? And look at these skirts. I mean, look at all these different ways we can do this back set of jockeys and then your flaps. There's like three different flaps. So what I had done is, um, I haven't posted this pattern anywhere, but I kind of finalized this one and it's using some of these, right? Um, the biggest version. So this would be like, um, like a barrel race. I don't know if you've seen the barrel racers and they look like they're just a single skirt. So this skirt was as big as that. They kind of glued together and then it looked like it was all one and it held the, the saddle on fine. Um, but let's say I didn't want to do that one. You know, I've got, you know, I picked one here. Oh, this is a little different. That came from another pattern. See how it flares out and where these uh, come in. So let's say I was going to create, um, let's say a small, you know, really small type of um, skirt on the bottom. And then um, maybe the smallest one here and the smallest one here. And so... I'll go ahead and cut out these skirts. Um, I'm going to use these fend. The I'm going to use these fenders like for the saddle type, and then and then just see what works together. And I'm going to use this clay tree. This is another prototype, uh, but it was a prototype clay tree. I'm going to go ahead and use this. Um, uh, some of them was some of us clay and then aluminum for um, support to help get the right that right look right so this is a prototype with a prototype okay now I'm still gonna need all this other stuff anything that's tooling leather so I'm gonna need to like decide like these are all gonna be tooling leather so those are all gonna be my faux gray will be this, right? And this would be the suede. This is, uh, or whatever um, lines the saddle underneath. Okay, so that's what that would be. So suede. Um, All right, so this is just uh, my standard um, in the square Western saddle uh, pattern. I have all of this, okay? And these are these are different um, options. So you got different blanket sides, <clears throat> um, cantle wrap or cantle band. On this, I'm gonna do the cantle band because um, I know the wrap works on my leather tree, and this was tooling leather, so this will be on there. That's definitely suede. We're going to figure these out here. Uh, I'm not going to do a saddle blanket, so I don't need that. Now, I do need the rigging, and I'll probably do this whole cinch thing, this, this here. So, I know this is 2-3. I'm not going to make a bridle, so I don't need the rommel rein end 
I'm not doing a blanket, so let's go ahead and so let's see. The suede will be suede. Okay, that'll be suede. That's my two three now. Um, I'm not gonna do the rear. All right, so no rear rigging on this. I'm just checking it out right now. And then I'm not gonna do a uh, breast collar because I'm just checking out the saddle. But I do want the seat that's gonna be in suede. All right, that's suede. So, I mean, technically we don't need the Latico and Cinch Keepers. We'll go ahead and make those anyways. They're out of two, three. Okay, so we know the um, stirrups have to be out of two, three. So let's um, but I want my treads to be out of suede. Okay, so that's the two, three, and that's that. Now I'm just gonna do everything in these two, these two fabrics. Okay, so this I'm going to consider Skyver slash suede. All right, we got everything cut out, uh, just like the pattern. No difference um, in any of that. Holes, slices, all of that. The white glue that I use may not be the right glue for this because uh, it's just going to take longer for some of this stuff to dry. So if you switch, you might want to look at some of the gel glues. Uh, they have a smell that hurts my lungs, so I don't use them. Um, but, but you can look at them. I think E9000, somebody said, craft glues, uh, reasonably good. Um, but that's something I'll have to explore um, and talk to other saddle makers what they use. But I find, for me, um, I got a whiff of it one day and it hurt my lungs pretty bad. And I'm like, I'm not doing that anymore. So we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and use my white glue. That piece is too small for this, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs>
There you go, it's using fabric and faux leather. The um, glue was a, a situation I, so I did use glue, um, like craft glue, gel glue in my younger days. And uh, you'll notice I had to stop and wait for the glue to dry in order to proceed. So this was a two day project and usually I would be able to get it done in, in less than that. Uh, just because I had to wait for the glue to dry. Uh, but anyways, yes, you can use uh, fabric and faux leather uh, to make a saddle. And I hope that'll help you uh, so that you can make, you know, test saddles before you cut into the good stuff and make sure it's going to suit you and that you like how it um, uh, is going to look, okay? Um, I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please like, subscribe, tell everybody about this channel and have yourself a really great evening.